Bora TV. The world is thinking. The idea came. Luckily, it either comes to you or it doesn't sometimes to solve these things, like putting color into computers. That was probably one of the biggest things Apple ever did. Nobody expected color to come into a computer because color machines cost $1,000 to generate color. They had tons of chips, and I figured out a way to do it with one little $1 chip. And, I, and it was really strange how it happened. But this would apply to young children. I was without sleep for four days and nights because Steve Jobs and I got a project to design a game for Atari called Breakout. And, we, and I, he said, it seemed he needed the money quick. So we had to do it in four days and nights. I didn't think it was possible. Back then, games weren't software. They were hardware. Little chips and voltages to wires from here to there make it work. And I didn't think it was possible, but I said, I'll try it. And I designed the whole thing. And we got it done in four days and nights. But when you're without sleep, when you're going to sleep, you're in a, your head goes briefly into this period of really creativity, kind of thinking. It's not restricted to the normal thoughts of life and the day. I, when you're waking up, your head's a little like that. Well, my head was kind of in this floating, half-asleep state. And out on the Atari floor, they only had black and white TVs in those days for the, video, the first arcade games. They had this thought going across the screen. It's changing colors like a rainbow. And it was hypnotizing like you're at a concert or something. And they just put little strips of mylar, red, green, blue, yellow, on the TV screen to do it. But I started thinking, it was so beautiful. And I remember exactly what bench I was at. Steve was, was wiring up the board over there, and I'm right at this one bench. I just started drifting, and I thought, you know, signals for color TVs. I remember from high school electronics. They go up and down, up and down at a certain speed. And then I thought, what if you made a signal that went up and down and up and down at a different rate? Would it look like color? Just a digital, the normal, simple thing I can do with almost no parts at all. Would it look like color? And then, oh my gosh, I figured out a way that I could have little four little zero one bits circling around and it could go up and down at different time and red would become blue. And I could put in a different pattern of ones and zeros. I had 16 patterns and it could become a different shade. It might be a little lighter and it might be a little darker. Would it work? You know, and didn't know. But when I finally wired it up about a year later um, and brought Steve over, I mean, we saw it, and that was Eureka. You know, we knew this was a change, a big change in the world. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, sometimes you just, you're not sure if it's going to work because it didn't follow all the methodology, all the science that's in the books, all those numbers, yet it's similar enough it might work. And in this case, it did.